trip of a lifetime. I mean, we went all across the Midwest just chasing down storms. And as a meteorology major, that's living the dream. It was we would fly out and we would kind of go for across like the country to find where the most significant weather was for each day. And we were also like working on our forecasting skills and trying to analyze what all the models and data were saying. So um, just trying to uh, apply what we learned in the classroom. Well, we spent 16 days in the Midwest. Um, pretty much we flew out to Denver, and that was our start city. And then from there, we went wherever the storms would be for 16 days. So the actual route is not set up at the time that we leave. We go wherever the weather takes us. Takes us. So, for instance, we started off of Colorado. That was our first starting point for this project. And uh, from there, we just went wherever the weather seemed to be most active. So we left Colorado, and uh, we drove first to South Dakota. That was our very first target, our very first storm. And uh, from that point on, we just do a, a daily analysis of how the weather is and decide where to go from that point. For this past year, we drove 5,316 miles, and that took us through nine states in the United States. Colorado, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. Those were the states we ended up visiting. But again, this is a flexible route depending on wherever the, the weather takes us. Insofar as what weather we saw, well, it's as usual as any storm chasing program, you're going to have days when the weather is very active and days when the weather is pretty dead. So um, <clears throat> what we did see was, for instance, uh, a variety of different storms. We saw those that are called high precipitation storms farther east in, into the United States. And we also saw some low precipitation supercells in the western side of the United States. One of those actually we were able to witness a dry microburst, which was a pretty interesting phenomenon for the students to actually see. Uh, we were uh, exposed also to other different types of shapes of storms like bow echoes and uh, hail storms and things of that nature. So um, we had a, a whole variety of different storms, including storms that produced a wall cloud and uh, other types of structure that uh, indicate the development of storms with a tornadic capacity. Well, we saw a couple of storms. We saw, I think, like nine in total. Um, unfortunately, there were no tornadoes, which was really what we were searching for. But it ended up being the two most dead weeks of the summer. So that made it kind of difficult. But, you know, we saw some cool storms, some cool lightning that we probably were a little bit too close to. But um, it, was, it was a really fun experience, especially being with all these students that you work with all year during the school year and then you know to be able to spend a couple weeks in the summer with them was cool too. A uh, typical day for us on this trip was a lot of driving around. Mostly getting up fairly early, having a nice discussion about where we're going to go. We would get up, have a briefing. Looking at the forecast, figuring out where all the weather is going to be. Trying to figure out what the best way is to get there, travel time and arrangements and things like that. Looking and at the radar all day, hoping something pops and up. And at night we would talk about the weather the next day and try and see where we should travel to next, wherever the weather's going to be the worst. And then in the evening we talk about what happened and then what we're going to be doing for tomorrow. So we go wherever the, the weather takes us and if it requires us to drive eight hours a day, then so be it. Sometimes on the other hand, the weather, we expected the weather to be fairly dead. So what we do is we move on and we, uh, we take advantage of the other geoscience oriented activities that we can work with? Um, we did some national parks, we did some um, local parks, and I mean we saw some like scenery, I mean we kinda did a lot of driving so it kinda killed most of the day, but we also saw like a lot of like landscapes and clouds and stuff so it was pretty cool. So seeing the Rocky Mountains and seeing the Badlands in South Dakota was a little unexpected but pretty fun. Um, going to the Rockies is really cool and Mount Rushmore. We went to Badlands National Park we visited some uh, former Cold War era missile silos that are part also the, of the National Park System. And uh, we uh, visited Mount Rushmore. So whenever the, the w weather was not very favorable for chasing, what we did is we moved on to different geoscience activities to explore the geology or the water. We looked at flood controls and things of that nature. I would, I would do this trip again in a heartbeat. I mean, it was, it was an exhausting trip. Two weeks of just traveling in a van for 
you know, at least six hours a day. We everything that I saw and everything that I learned, it was like getting hands-on experience instead of just being inside the classroom. So I'm definitely recommending this to anyone. I mean, even if you're not a meteorology major, if you just have some interest in the weather, I definitely recommend it. Definitely worth it for me. I had a great time. I would. Would definitely do it again. I don't don't regret it at all. I mean, it's a trip of a lifetime. I mean, you know, even if we didn't see too much, I mean, we got to drive around and all that. I definitely do it again. Uh, this is my second year going out storm chasing, and you know, I haven't seen any tornadoes yet. But my goal is to keep going until you know we can see it, and it's just a really great opportunity. Definitely hoping that we are going to be able to reach our jackpot, that we're going to be able to see that tornado. Uh, more, more importantly, I'm hoping that we're going to have an opportunity to see an outbreak of tornadoes. I think that would be the, uh, the ultimate goal.